In this video, we install the Bluetooth control of RF Secure. I am Mark Moulter, and welcome to my new video. The RF Secure has been developed to be connected to existing door controls, barrier controls, or roller shutter controls. Here it has the task of supplementing existing key switches or remote controls. The RF Secure is available in different versions for 3, 5, 10, or up to 500 end users. Thus, we have the possibility to provide access to an object for up to 500 persons with the largest model. The advantage of RF Secure is that you can possibly lose or even copy remote controls or keys, which is not possible with RF Secure. For this, we assign a single code. This is activated by the end user on his mobile phone and can only be used with this mobile phone. If we now want to deny this person access again, we can simply deactivate the code and the person no longer has access to our property, our underground garage, or depending on what we want to protect here. This gives us 100% control of our access, but not to be neglected is the safety aspect. Because we work with Bluetooth, we have a big advantage over commercial remote controls. Remote controls may be able to be fished from a longer distance. A Bluetooth system can only work within a radius of 10 meters at maximum, so an attacker or potential attacker has to get very close to this system. We also work with encrypted communication, which provides additional security. Before we can install the RF Secure, please have a look at the manual of the RF Secure. Here we find various circuit diagrams. We select the right circuit diagram for our system. I've got a normal gate control here. Here we have potential for contact. Accordingly, we select the right circuit diagram. Important, please have a look at the operating instructions of your door control system to see if there is any potential for a contact and read here again how to connect it. If this is all given, we can connect our RF secure. I would like to point this out again. We are working on an electrical system here, so it is advisable to have this connection carried out by qualified personnel because electricity is life-threatening. Now we come to the installation position of the RF Secure. The RF Secure should be installed close to the door area as it works with Bluetooth. It has a maximum effective range of approximately 10 meters. This field of action could even be limited if we still have sources of interference in the immediate surrounding area. Therefore, it is important to bring the RF Secure as close to the gate as possible. If you install your RF Secure in an outside garage like I do, it is also recommended to install the RF Secure in a waterproof box. I'm using an IP67 case here, and I'm putting my controller in it. So I make sure that the controller doesn't get wet somehow, or on a short circuit can occur. So I make sure that the controller doesn't get wet somehow, or a short circuit can occur. The RF Secure requires a 230 volt connection for the power supply. Please make sure that no voltage is applied when you plug it in. Otherwise, there is a risk of electric shock. First, we connect our protective conductor to the PE point. Our neutral conductor with the point N and the outer conductor with L. Next, we need a control cable to our door drive. We need at least a two-wire connection here. We lay it neatly between the door drive and RF Secure. Once we have come to the door operator, we connect our control cable with the potential free contact of our door operator. Please follow the instructions of the door drive manufacturer and connect both cores with the correct contact. It may be necessary to make some settings on the door drive here. You can also find this in the operating instructions. At the RF Secure, we now connect our two laid wires to the point in and the second wire to the point MOT arrow outwards. The finished connection now looks like this. Now we go to the right side of our box and adjust our control switch. Make sure that position 1 is on and position 2 is off. This is the setting for a sectional door or swing gate. In order to guarantee an optimal radio range, we still need this antenna module with the RJ45 plug. We install this on the left side of our module. Now we have completed the connection. So we put our system under voltage and it acknowledges this with a short beep tone. beep tone. We also see a flashing blue light indicating that our system is working. In the next step, we take a smartphone and install our app to control the module. You can find the app on the manufacturer's page or you can simply take your carton and scan the QR code here. Once we have started the app, we will release any permissions. 
When we have downloaded our RF Secure app, there is a very important point. This has to be executed before you can use the app properly. Please open your Android settings and search for the option Apps. Here you are looking for your RF Secure app. Please open it and search for the category Permissions. Please release the location here. Now we can open our RF Secure app. It is now important that the device is completely reset. Why do you have to do this? The first smartphone that logs onto the device is the admin's device, so I recommend you, if you haven't done so yet, please reset the device by pressing the reset button for 5 seconds. Now we go to the smartphone that will become our admin device and open our RF Secure app. Make sure that the smartphone is in the reception area of the RF Secure. The smartphone now automatically starts scanning for all Bluetooth connections in the environment and lists them here on the screen. If you don't find the RF Secure, you can press Scan again to repeat the scan. Here we see RF Secure and we connect to our RF Secure. Since this is the first connection, this is the admin connection. Our device stores our smartphone and therefore, this smartphone is our admin. The screen which is shown here depends on what is connected to our device. For example, if we have connected a roller shutter, we can use up and down control, and of course, also the stop button. However, if a standard garage door is connected here, we will only see one button on the display. With these buttons, we can now open or close our roller shutters, barriers, or gates. In order to give another person access to your system, we open our RF Secure app on our admin smartphone. We make sure that we are in the reception area of the RF Secure. Select the RF Secure. Press these three dots above and choose Generating Password. Now we pass this password onto the second user, confirm with OK, and exit our app. Now the second user downloads the RF Secure app. Here it is also important to release the location in the app authorization. If the next time the user is in front of your door, in the reception area of the RF Secure, he simply opens the RF Secure app, connects to the device, and is asked to enter the password. He confirms this with OK, and now has access to the gate control. Now the door can also be opened or closed. The new user can now use this app to gain access to your building but it does not have an admin function. This means that he cannot generate a code for any other person, nor can he make any further settings on your device. The admin can now manage all users under the settings. To do this, we click on the button User Settings, and we see we have created a user. Here you can also see the password. In order to keep a better overview, we click on the user, and can also assign a name here. Under the button User Settings, we also see the maximum number of users that we can register. This depends on which version of the device you have bought. I have here the version with 5 users. Furthermore, the admin can assign a device name under the settings. This makes it easier to identify the device. For example, underground car park, garage, or similar. Confirm this, and the next time you try to log in, you will see your individual name. Now we can reconnect to this device. We also have the Date Time function. Here we can set the current date and time. The timestamp is also a very important function. If we call it up, we will see a list of the last attempts at access. We can see who got in at what time. If you want to remove a certain user, click here again, our three dots above, and go to User Settings. Here we select the appropriate user who should no longer have access to our system, and simply press the Delete key. In this way, the person is eliminated from the system and cannot gain access next time. In the last step, we are now looking for a good position for our antenna. For this, we try to open and close our gates in different places. Once we have found an optimal position for our antenna, we fix it at this point with the supplied fixing material. Last but not least, 
I now close my distribution box and have finished the installation. And this brings me to the end of my video. Another important point, this product was kindly provided to me by RF Secure so that I can show you how to install it. You will find the link to the system as always in the video description below. If you liked me or my video in any way, I would ask you for a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, no problem. Just subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to YouTube is, of course, free of charge. I'll say goodbye to you. Yours, Mark on YouTube.